All right, you got something going on in your life and you think Burt Show fam around the country can help you out. Go ahead and hit us up at theburtshow.com. In this case, my man buys gifts for his ex-wife and she is not okay with this at all. Okay, I listen to you guys give advice and opinions to so many of your listeners. I'd like the same done for me. I need your thoughts on a situation and advice on, advice on how to handle it. First of all, I need to know if this situation is as inappropriate and wrong as I think it is. <laughs> she's she's priming the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so really what she's saying is, please um, read three uh-huh. paragraphs yes. and then agree with me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend, Matt, and I have been dating for about six months. Obviously, this is our first holiday season together. So far, it's been great. I've been really excited to celebrate Christmas with him since this is the first serious relationship that I've had over the holiday season. This is not, however, his first serious relationship this time of year. He was married for six years before me. They've been divorced for two years now. Before they were married, they had been together for three. So he and his ex had been together in total for nine years. That's nine Christmases that they have spent together. I feel like now we're in a math problem. (laughs) I try not to think about that since I have a tendency to compare myself to others and I get a bit jealous when I think about their past together. I was at his apartment the other day and he wasn't home yet. I was on the phone and needed something to write on. I found a pad of paper on the counter. As I was flipping the pages to find a blank page, I came across a list. It was a list of names of people that he needed to get gifts for. It also seemed to note how much money he intended to spend. While the dollar amount wasn't on there, it either had $1 sign, $2 signs, or $3 signs next to each person's name. It's like looking up a restaurant. Yep. Uh (laughs) It's ratings. Yeah, on filters. There were two names I recognized that I think are co-workers, and they had $1 sign by their names. He had his sister and her uh, husband's name together with $2 signs. He had each of their two kids with $2 signs. Then he had mom and dad, $3 signs. My name, three dollar signs. And finally, his ex-wife's name <laughs> with three dollar signs. Damn. They tied? It's they not tied. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be fair, she did the math. They've been together six months. Ex and him were together for that's, nine that's years. Fair. That's fair. All right. It's not okay to still buy gifts for your ex, right? It is especially not okay to spend the same amount on your ex as you would on your current, right? (laughs) Am I wrong? And do I need to let this go? Or do I have a right to bring this up and tell him that he can't give her Christmas gifts? Okay, so um, he has kids with them. Yep. With the ex, yeah. That's the mother of his children. So this makes sense to me. Yeah. Yeah, Because the the money figure is probably not specifically for the ex-wife. He's not buying her jewelry. He's not getting her clothes. I'm guessing it's money for the kids to buy presents for their mother. Look at you and your co-parent thinking. Yeah. That's probably it right there. That's it. That's what I was thinking too. So that's legit right there. Somebody said to me the other day, parenting is the hardest job. And I said, no, it's not, man. Co-parenting is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a try. <laughs> that, that, that is the hard. So, yeah, that may, that totally makes sense to me. And if anything, this should make you happy that he has your – it sounds like you're not going to deal with any what they call baby mama drama, that they have a good co-parenting relationship. The fact that they're buying gifts for uh-huh. each other means that there is still mutual respect there. So I think this is a good sign. Mm -hmm. It's a major good sign here also because the fact that he's showing the kids that it's important for them to buy presents for their mom, even they understand that mom and dad aren't together anymore, has a lot of lessons to that. So that's a good dude right there. There should be no jealousy issues at all. There should be no concern. Now, if it's just for the ex-wife, well, then you got problems, but I am assuring you it's not. And also- if you had two dollar signs and she had three, mm. maybe I would give yes. you a little something. <laughs> right. However, I don't. I don't think you. I don't think you have a leg to stand on here. It's okay that it's a draw in the end. I think so. Yeah. 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 It I'm, sounds like we're all agreeing here. Are we, is everybody agreeing? I think Are so. Y'all if they have kids okay. together for sure. Let me yeah. throw a wrench in it. All right, do it. Do okay. it. Do it because we got twenty seconds. Yeah, left. she should absolutely <laughs> tell her ex that he can't give Christmas presents to the mother of his children. And absolutely. Then call back. <laughs>
do it and then call us back. <laughs> that crap's hilarious. Are you kidding? No, she's not. She's tied, like Mo said. And if you're not first, you're last. Right. Nobody wants to be tied. They right. want to win. This is not soccer. <laughs> Why no. don't you have four dollar signs? Yeah, you should four. be above his own parents. It's another dollar. Like, what are we talking about here? Just give her another dollar. That's yes. all we ask. Yeah. Absolutely. This is no problem at all. Do not be jealous. In fact, it's it goes one in the plus column for this guy. The Bird Show. <laughs>